everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2 Let's Play Belladonna Cove, round one introductions. And we are here with the highly anticipated new sin clan. These are the adopted children whose parents unfortunately perished. And now we have two teens, two children, two toddlers, no adults. It's going to be an interesting household. I really don't know what kind of drama we're going in to get into because we have to really, really focus on making sure no one gets taken away by the social worker because that would be terrible. They are facing, they like ran away from their hometown um, where their parents died because they were going to be separated by social services. Um, and they know that the toddlers would get separated uh, from each other and the toddlers are twins, um, and that everyone would just be separated and it would just be god awful. Um, so they ran away uh, to survive on their own. Now we are in the building with Vivian Cho and her daughter Etsu, as well as Timothy Riley and Sally. Um, so I feel that the Timothy and Vivian will definitely, because they are good people and they're family oriented as well, that they will help the new sins out as much as possible. So that is something to look forward to. So what we're going to do is introduce ourselves to everyone. Um, there's quite a few sims, so it might take a little bit of time. Uh, then uh, I don't think they have, yeah, they have no story album. And a quick apartment tour that's really nothing fancy to look at. And then we'll get into some gameplay. So Gavin is uh, one of the elder teens. Um, he is a fortune aspiration and he wants to become a business tycoon. He wants to earn enough money to, you know, keep his family together. He wants to get into private school, so that's something he'll really, really, really need to work hard at. Um, his relationships, uh, he's not that close with the twins. He's closest with Ginger, because they have to raise the kids together. Uh, and he's um, okay with, with Gallagher and Gabriella. Uh, we just met Timothy Riley, and apparently some old people. Uh, so our relationships aren't too, too strong. We're not tight-knit quite yet. Um, I think because it's just so fresh and new, this whole running away and, you know, living on their own together. So, yeah, uh, we are a C student right now, no skills. He is a Sagittarius, so he's very, very sloppy. He's quite shy, but he's very active and playful. He can be a pretty grouchy, but he can also be a bit nice. At his age, Gavin never thought he would be adopted. He is grateful for the chance at a real family and has come to fiercely love his brothers and sisters. In fact, Gavin couldn't imagine life without them. He decided long ago that he would do whatever it took to protect and care for them. So he's going to be, you know, very hardworking. I can see the stress really, really getting to him. Um, but hopefully he will persevere. I'm rooting for him. I really am. Um, he is interested in entertainment and paranormal. Interesting. Very good. Uh, no hobbies quite yet. Um, no memories to speak of. He likes cologne and fit, and he also likes a full face of makeup. Um, so him and Ginger, they cannot have a romantic relationship because they were, they're considered siblings. Um, so no, uh, no infestive little stuff happening. Oh, I guess we'll look at the family tree. Um, but they have no, uh, no parents either. They were adopted, so, um, they're not blood related, which is kind of like where it's weird, but, um, but yeah, and he's playing right now with the Georgia, one of the, one of the twin toddlers. She's so cute. Uh, so we'll head over to Ginger, who's on the easel right now, which, um, I think she's going to pick a painting as a, as a side thing for some money. Uh, she is a family aspiration, and she wants to reach a golden anniversary, so she's looking for a long-term partner to grow her family with. Uh, she wants to go to university. That's not going to happen. She also wants to flirt with somebody, uh, and she wants to become friends with Vivian Cho uh, downstairs. So, um, so very exciting, and we are we have a fairly good relationship with her already. We got along with her quite well, so that's something awesome. Uh, her relationship's pretty the same. She actually has, like, no relationship with Georgia at all. Uh, but she's met a ton more people uh, than 
uh, Gavin has. She actually has a negative relationship with Timothy Riley. They didn't, they didn't get along. Uh, she's talked to Gabriel Green and Chastity Gear. She also met Connor Weir very uh, quickly over the computer, uh, which I'm kind of um, thinking the two of them would be cute together in, uh, in the future. She's also a C student, no skills or talent badges. She is a Taurus, yes. Uh, so she's neat, uh, pretty outgoing. She's lazy, playful, and nice. Uh, Ginger was a troubled child with a troubled past before flowering under the loving kindness of her adopted mother, Gloria. Apparently her mother's name was Gloria. With Gloria gone, Ginger faces the unknown challenges of being an adult and acting as a mother to her siblings. So she's had kind of a rough, rough past. I'd like to hear as well um, your thoughts on backstories for uh, all of these kids, um, how what their life was before they were adopted into this big family. Um, I'm, I'm going to have some kind of um, backstories as well, but I'd really like your input as well to help formulate their backstories a bit more. She is interested in food and weather. That's kind of cool. No hobbies quite yet. Memories are just meeting a whole bunch of people and moving in. She is turned on to glasses and apparently makeup. Oh, and I forgot to do his, uh, his aspiration points. Oh, I already put them in. <laughs> moving them in. So you can get financial advice for cash. Um, and that allows him to make money, so he can definitely get that going. Uh, she has some as well. We can also get ourselves a money plant, which I think I do really want to give us uh, that. Because that'll give us simoleons on the side. I used to use these all the time when I was... Uh, when I was younger, back in the day. Uh, so that is Ginger. Uh, I'm going to just skip ahead and introduce you to the toddlers because we're all here and then because the kids are outside. Uh, so here's Garrett. Garrett and uh, Georgina are twins. Um, we want to learn to walk. Uh, he has a negative relationship with Gabriella. No skills quite yet. He is a Pisces. He's neat, active, and nice, but he's also serious and pretty shy. Garrett and his twin sister, Georgia, were adopted most recently and loved as if they had always been around. They play well with each other and merrily get along with the rest of the family. These two managed to bring more laughter and happiness into the Newson household. So it's just all positiveness. Um, we like travel, sci-fi, toys, sports. Uh, no hobbies quite yet, and we just remember moving in. Georgina, she's spending time with uh, Gavin right now. She is a Gemini. And she is neat, outgoing, and active, but she is quite serious and actually a grouchy face. Uh, she has the same bio as her brother. She is interested in toys and school and sci-fi. And yeah, so that is the two of them. They're kind of more um, blanket, um, generic. Um, they're just happy-go-lucky kids. We can really, really formulate how, they, how they're going to grow. Uh, let's go outside now to these two. We got Gabriella Newson right here. Uh, she wants to be friends with the landlord. She also wants to obtain a pet. That's not going to happen. Uh, gain a skill point. Let's lock that one in. Uh, her relationship, she's actually friends with Gallagher, so the only ones that are friends with each other. And uh, they just met their landlady. She is a C student as well. A cancer, so she's very neat, shy, active, kind of serious and nice. Gabriella, a precocious child, has been dubbed the princess of the Newson family. This little wonder enjoys the lavish love and attention of her siblings and has a knack of wrapping people around her little finger. So she's pretty good with manipulating people, getting what she wants out of people. She is interested in uh, travel, animals, sci-fi. No hobbies quite yet and no memories to speak of. And then last but not least is Gallagher, which I love that name, Gallagher. I'm trying to get a good look at him right now. He's going down the pool. Uh, he wants to talk to someone or gain a skill point. Uh, he's very good friends with Gabriella, actually. He has a negative relationship with Ginger. He doesn't really seem to like her right now, which is upsetting. That's not nice. C student. He is also a Cancer, so he's neat, shy, active, serious, but nice. Gallagher is one of a kind. He is a happy child who tends to be shy around strangers. He stays to himself more than any of the other children, but he is coming out of his shell day by day. Will his siblings continue to bring up the best in him? 
I think so. I think so. He's into sports, school, sci-fi, travel, no hobbies, and uh, no wish memories. So that is the full, full family. A quick overview house tour very quickly. I'm just going to kind of look at it up. Uh, above uh i just i honestly i didn't even decorate i want to make sure that we save our money as much as possible because we're not going to have much income so i just very very lightly the cheapest furniture um furnished the apartment so we got our tv and our bad ducked up couch a bookshelf an easel all the toddler toys and potty and a change table we got ourselves the dining room right here, which um, I don't know how well they're going to be able to navigate in and out of that dining room. I kind of might move the dining room out in here instead and make this um, like a, an art room or something or like the skill building room, homework room maybe, I don't know. Uh, kitchen. This is the boys' room, so Gavin's bed, Gallagher's bed, and Garrett's bed. Oh, I realize they all start with G's. All of their names start with G's. Oh, well, that's handy. Uh, and this is the girls' room. Ginger's bed. Um, <clears throat> I'm Gabriella's bed and Georgina's bed. And yeah, that is it in the bathroom. Uh, that is it. So let's go ahead and press uh, OK. And uh, I think if we harvest this right now, we won't get... Uh, as many simoleons as we kind of want. The thing we should get actually, which I will invest in right now very quickly, is a computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab us a desk. Because we're going to get the computer from Mr. Humble soon. Thank the Lord for Mr. Humble. And we're going to need um, a desk for that. But Siley, Sally, Siley is downstairs. Uh, I'm going to kind of chat with her or call her over to play with us. And I think he's going to talk with Timothy downstairs. And I'm going to have Ginger actually potty train Georgia. Oh, and Vivian's downstairs too. Okay, how about you go talk with Sally? Uh, play, let me play cops and robbers, actually. There you go, make a friend. Oh, she didn't like that at all. Oh, okay, let's just chat with her instead. Do you want to play tag instead? She doesn't seem to like us at all. Uh... I don't know if he would want to get to know Sally too. I don't know. Here we go, Georgia's pot being potty trained. I'm gonna try my best not to speed up time like at all. Uh, we're gonna open this and get our computer for us. Bomb. And here's Vivian Cho actually coming and talking to us and um, I think we need to be friends with them in order for us to um, ask them to watch our kids. Because I saw that on Timothy or uh, Vivian, that they could uh, they could ask each other to watch each other's kids. So um, I'm going to have, um, what's her name, Ginger. I'm going to mix up their names because they all start with G's. Oh my god, look at them making out. Hoo-wee. Uh, and see if we can become friends with her. Oh my god, he just fell in love with her. And Georgia is gonna, like, fall down the stairs. Girl, don't do that. Oh god. Hi. Gavin, potty train Garrett. Before he pees his pants. Yeah, so hopefully Ginger can become friends with Vivian so that we can... Oh, he's hugging, hugging this chick. How are the kids doing downstairs? Oh, you're upstairs. What are you two doing? Are you two getting along? Why don't you join her? He does want to be friends with her. What's our really? We're at a seven. That's okay. He's just going to keep playing uh, with her upstairs. Um, luckily, they didn't have to go to school today because they just moved in. So that's kind of why I'm starting uh, this on this day because... 
as soon as we have to start going to school, it's going to be mental. So the other thing we need to get is um, hire a nanny. And honestly, it should be, it should be um, Ginger or Garrett because he's going to get himself a part-time job as well. He just needs to get his grades up first. Uh, and Ginger's starting to feel a bit hungry as well. Um, so we're going to uh, say bye to Vivian. Okay, say goodbye to her for now. We need to pee and dispose of this and then serve up some lunch meat sandwiches for everyone. Because uh, we all need to eat. I wish the toddlers would not leave. No, 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 honeys. Come in here. So uh, you, sir, I need you to um, play your logic thing. And you, I want you to work on your charisma uh, skills. Because we're all starting to get pretty hungry. No, don't show off. Just come upstairs. Uh, come upstairs and go pee. I know, babies. I know. Did you empty this potty? I know. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm also going to have Garrett, or Gavin, uh, give some financial consulting at some point. But um, Gabriella is just watching Ginger making some lunch meat sandwiches. Apparently she wants to be red too. Don't do that right now. Just go here. Apparently young children cannot harvest this simoleon plant. And these two are downstairs, just I don't, I don't know what they're doing. But we got Ginger making everyone some lunch meat sandwiches. What are you, what are you saying about Ginger? Oh, rude! These kids are so rude. Uh, let's come eat. And do none of you want to sit in these chairs? Can we, can we all sit in the chairs? I don't know. Apparently we can't sit in this one because it's too close to the door. So I think I'll definitely have to move the dining table out. Just no good, man. No good. Okay. Now be a good boy and clean up your plate. And there's more money. Oh, he can harvest. Okay, you're in platinum, so you do it. Because you'll get the most. Yes, 40 simoleons. Very, very good. And he does want to be friends with um, with uh, Sally, but I'm going to have them actually play with the toddlers because I want their relationships to really go up. And who's on the top floor? I don't know. Who is living here? Oh, Tom Yoy. Oh, that old lady lives in the top floor. And Sally's talking to that old lady. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Oh my god, she's teasing him. That's not nice. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, they're already like teasing one another. And what are we going to do? Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, he did not like that. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, and he's super, super tired. Oh, they're both really, really tired. Okay, so... Um, Ginger will put Georgia in her crib, and you can put Garrett in his crib. Put Georgia in her crib. There we go. So they both need to go for a nap. And where did Gabriella go? She just, like, ran outside. Um, how about we chat with Gavin and just... Like, we need... We need to... They need to support one another. Like, the two of them really need to be on the same page. Because they're raising, they have to help raise these kids. And, like, the toddlers are especially, especially um, impressionable. So they need to, like, you know, get on the same page and and um, and help one another out. And Gavin's like, 100%, on the, I'm, I'm there with you. I'm going to do some financial consulting right now. Uh, they start playing catch outside, but I want... 
Um, ask Sally to come out. I think Gallagher likes Sally. Um, Sally is not at home, so where is she? Who's this? Don Okuma? Oh, Sally's over here. Okay, why don't you come chat with her some more? And it is dark out. I don't like the kids um, being out here at nighttime. Even if they're just right outside their uh, their house, it's it just makes me uncomfortable with them being outside. These two are just hanging out, chilling. No big deal. <clears throat> oh, and she's crashed out on the couch. Like, she's exhausted. But Ginger needs to watch TV for some fun. Gabriella, honey, why don't you take a bath and just go right to bed? I know you're tired. He's tired too, so I think he will... Um, how close are we with her? You still haven't like improved your relationship like at all with her. Why don't you tell her a joke? Why don't you chat with her? Why don't you... I don't know. I don't know. Tell her another joke? There you go. You can chat some more. Give her a hug. Is it working? Are you becoming friends? Oh, and then sometimes they just, like, don't get along. Oh, God. Okay, so we need to get... Okay, hold Georgia. And then we need to put... Put Georgia here and get her a bottle. And then hold Garrett. Because now he needs to come up to bed. And it is... It is no time for, uh... How much money have we earned from financial consulting? I don't even know. I don't even know, but we need to put Garrett down and get him a bottle. Oh my god, this is crazy, guys. And then potty train Georgia. I think Ginger's, like, going to be exhausted and won't be able to go to school. Oh, no, she pooped her, she pooped her diaper already. I know, honey, I know. And he wants to eat, but there's nothing... This is when we start already getting pretty crazy. This is when we already start getting pretty crazy. And we missed him. Change his diapy. And then dispose of these. And then she really needs to get ready for bed as well. And I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, so Garrett's going to come play with his logic blocks. Um, Georgia is going to play with her charisma thing. And these two need to go to bed. I'm actually going to have him um, call the nanny and track his schedule. So she'll come um, at 8 until 1. And yeah, those two are not tired yet. So, oh my god, already we have had such a crazy day. <laughs> Just a couple minutes in and everything goes, like, to poop, basically. Um, she needs to wake up and actually put both of them in their cribs for the rest of the night because they are both exhausted. They need to sleep. And then she can go back to bed as well. I might invest in just some higher quality beds for them because we definitely are going to need that extra sleep. Um... Yeah, he, they really, really, really need it. We're going to come serve up some cereal for breakfast. Um, the kids, I'm going to have her harvest these simoleons. Uh, change into your everyday. And uh, see if we can get him to help clean up or something. And then we can eat. Hopefully the nanny comes really soon because, <laughs> oh my god, we're already so screwed. Oh my god, and Gav Gavin needs so much fun. He's like so upset. He worked a lot yesterday. I'm actually going to have him just watch some TV really quickly because he needs that, he needs that fun really badly. And then the kids are going to school. The nanny is here, thank God. 
Um, these two are going to go. I'm just going to wait a little bit for his fun to go up. That's as good as it's going to get for now. So they're all off on their first day of school, and the toddlers are, you know, doing doing them. We got a stinky diapy. We're hungry. Can you change my diaper? Oh my god, she's going to keep putting us in... Can you just drink this, please? And now the phones are ringing. I hate everything. There we go. And now we're both stinky messes. Oh god, thank god, okay. I'm just gonna, like, you know what? I can't really stop her from doing anything, so... I just need to wait until we're home. And we're back. We brought home a friend from school, apparently. Like, that's gonna help us. And hopefully they bring their homework upstairs. They should. Okay, good. Good, good, good. My lord. I know. I know. Watch some TV. Good. Oh, Timothy's here. Listen to complaint. Listen to complaint. It's stinky? It's stinky? What are you talking about? What? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's stinky. What do you mean it's re we reek? The kids are stinky? He's saying that our... Oh, I see. We left all this rotting food out. Ah, uh, that'll do it. So now Ginger's got to clean up all of this stuff. Gavin's splashing in a goddamn puddle. Apparently Timothy wants to just hang out with us, which I guess is kind of cool. But we need fun and we need to pee and it's just, there's all this madness going on right now. All of this madness. Uh, the twins need to get put down for a nap. And uh, see if he can put Georgia down for a nap too. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to do our homework. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, guys. We can... Hi, are you putting Garrett in his crib? There you go. Then you put Georgia in her crib. Good. And then we both need to watch TV and have some fun. You come join her watching TV as well. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh my god, this is honestly going terrible. Yeah, I'm going to definitely invest in higher quality beds uh, for these guys. I have to rearrange their place as well because... Um, this dining room area is just not working out. I might put his computer in here instead and just move everything over a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And we need homework help, but I don't know who we're going to ask for homework help because they are both miserable. Miserable. But this is nice. Them all, you know watching TV together, and, oops, I almost hit quit. That would have been bad. Us, you know, spending time together like this, you know. Georgia is, oh, not Georgia, Gabriella is also wearing, like, a ton of makeup, like, I, I don't know. Um, but I guess this is where I have to uh, end this part. So if you guys are enjoying this series, please do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly. This is the last episode of or part of the introduction. So after this, we are on round two, which is super exciting. I want to hear all about your thoughts and ideas for drama and, um, you know, next parts. Um, I think, oh, I do also still, as a reminder, 
Uh, would love to hear your ideas on all of their backstories, how what their previous families were like, what their biological families were like, um, and, you know, how their past is going to shape who they are, you know, as, a, as, as they age into, uh, into Sims. Um, the twins age up in three days, so we may celebrate their birthday next part, but maybe not. Um, and, you know, everyone else is just, like, at the beginning, so we got a full-blown time with them. Um, yeah, I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. And go.